Hello, this simple tutorial will introduce how to use a Carla simulator running embedded uh, scenarios from the uh, Carl, Carla leaderboard and also uh, external uh, open scenario uh, files with custom maps. So let's get started. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show how to use Carla Simulator, how to use built-in scenarios, and how to use open scenario with Carla. Uh, but first, uh, we need to know that the system is a bit complicated, so you need to properly install the right versions that we need to work on. Um, these are the basic installations. Um, the version I will do this tutorial uh, on is 0.9.10.1. Um, I like to go directly to the, the GitHub. Uh, this is the GitHub page from Carla Simulator. These, this is the last version. Just scroll down uh, to the version you need, uh, 0.9.10.1. I downloaded the this one. You can download the first one because uh, I like to use evaluating the scenarios using the RSS also. So this is built with the RSS capabilities. So just download this folder. This is the first st step uh, to download. You can, yes, you can download the source code and build it from scratch. That would add, um, additional layer of complexity uh, but you need to do that if you have your own custom map you want to embed into Carla but currently you can load any uh, open drive map um, but you don't have the environment you don't have the trees you don't have the buildings or any of them environment. only the open drive uh, road network uh, map okay so don't we don't I already downloaded this one um, move to the next item, um, which is um, downloading the scenario runner. Um, for each Carla version, you have to download the, the tag or the branch associated with the version. So this is the scenario runner uh, GitHub page. This is the tags we have. I downloaded 0.9.10. Point one, so all 0.9.10. This is the supported scenario runner. So I downloaded this one. Uh, then extract both in the same folder. Uh, in my home folder, I created a folder called Carla. I added the both um, f um, downloaded files. Extracted uh, the Carla simulator here, and then extracted. The scenario runner here. Uh, next, uh, it's important to make sure that the Python requirements are installed. Uh, each folder, like the, the simulator, has a requirement fi file and a scenario runner also. So, just for example, I want to install the requirements for uh, the simulator. Uh, go to the Python API um, folder and then just uh, in the util uh, there is a requirement so if I open a terminal just write pip install minus r uh, requirement and that will install the requirement I need uh, then I do the same with um, the scenario runner. That's the requirement file. Uh, pip install and that will do it. Okay. Uh, once we did that, we we'll go to the next step uh, to make sure that uh, the simulator is running or run our simulator um, 
this is the command uh, you also can ignore OpenGL if you if you have properly uh, NVIDIA driver installed um, and you can just check the website the, the documentation for more details about these parameters uh, I will just use these parameters because this these are those are the ones I already tested with um, okay let's open a terminal and go to the Carla Carla and then um, paste our command and enter hit enter we'll find Carla is working and this is the default world is loaded uh, then uh, next step is run the manual control uh, GUI this is the one we can control a vehicle a ego vehicle directly using keyboard or using uh, game wheel uh, so um, but first there is there is some environment variables we need to set uh, the Carla root scenario runner root and the Python path uh, so these are important to have them loaded in the environment before we run any scenario or before even run that manual control. Uh, what I do is I took those lines and add them in the uh, bash file. Um, so here in the home folder, there is, you can find the uh, bash open and you will find uh, at the end of this file there is those lines the scenario on a root carla root and the path uh, python uh, path uh, and in the python uh, path we have the selected the proper uh, uh, carla api's uh, egg uh, we are using the Python 3.7, so we selected this one. Okay, so that's set. We can move to the next uh, step. Uh, running the manual control, but it, as I, it says here, it will wait. It will not launch until there is an ego vehicle. Um, so. This is running simulator and um, let's go to the scenario runner folder. And run uh, the command. Okay, launch the manual control, but we don't have anything. It says waiting for the ego vehicle to be launched. Okay, so next step is loading the open drive map. If you have a custom map or you can you can load it manually using this command python config.py from the uh, python API. Uh, util folder in the simulator uh, folder or um, then you can load your own uh, and give it the path full path to your uh, open drive uh, map file but usually we can set the uh, open drive uh, file uh, path directly into the open scenario file and the scenario runner will load it, will, will go fetch it and load it automatically uh, to uh, the Carla simulator. Uh, so next step is creating a Python scenario. Uh, here we can see, um, we can go to the Carla documentation, scenario runner documentation, and we can create 
some Python code uh, and override some uh, uh, used some methods, uh, predefined uh, methods and add behaviors. We can add our own behaviors, uh, but in this tutorial we'll, we'll see only um, already created scenarios. We will not create scenario from the scratch. Um, then next, uh, loading the scenario. Um, uh, then we, we want, in this example, I will show a simple scenario like opposite vehicle running red light. Uh, so I'll take this command in the scenario runner and uh, we already have our simulator, the controller. We need the uh, scenario to be loaded. Uh, then it does in the simulator, the new map is loaded and the Hego vehicle is loaded. Now we can see in the controller uh, window, we can control this using the keyboard. So I will try to uh, just follow, drive the car by keyboard. And uh, there is another car cutting the red light. Um, of course, it's really difficult to drive using the keyboard. I will do some improvements. Uh, this is the end of the scenario. And it gave me some uh, results and showing how long it takes. And the, uh, the actors included in this scenario, uh, the criteria of evaluation, uh, the velocity collision test, uh, uh, the drive distance, um, and, and so on, and tells me uh, whether I succeeded or failed in some of these um, on-off or rule-based evaluation. Uh, we can do the same. We can run and we can use RSS evaluation and we can or also um, here uh, we can um, use the custom metrics uh also in the if we go to scenario and evaluation we can define our own uh cost function uh, metrics that um calculate some different results um than the one is calculated by default uh, so uh now we we tried uh, one simple uh scenario uh, we can try other scenarios. Uh, I just want to show how to load um, uh, open scenarios. Um, okay, uh, so after executing the scenario, uh, yeah, this is very important to, to note that uh, I drive manually using the keyboard, uh, but we can run AutoWare or other uh, any um, autonomous driving software stack connected to Carla and it will drive and it will give the same, uh, it will give evaluate this uh, specific uh, run or the specific system. Uh, if you wanna see AutoWare actually doing this, uh, uh, please uh, connect to our, this is a previous, uh, uh, workshop we have uh, introduced uh, in 2019 uh, about Carla and AutoWare. Uh, also, you can check uh, there is additional tutorials um, on the uh, uh, Takeda Lab uh, YouTube channel about using uh, Carla and AutoWare and Open Planner um, and how to. Um, uh, evaluate open planner or other or, or your control uh, functionality using uh, Carla. Um, uh, as I showed here uh, in the result, we can see the evaluation. We can look these evaluation and we can compare it, uh, compare the different systems. Um, 
and we can develop our own evaluation metric. Uh, running open scenario is same. Uh, there is uh, also existing open scenario files uh, in, uh, in Carla. Let's try one of these. Um, we'll just try the scenario called follow leading vehicle. We can understand from the name of the scenario that there is a two vehicles, MPC uh, and the ego vehicle, and we want to follow the e vehicle in front. Let's just do that. Um, okay. Um, we are in the correct folder and run. Uh, actually, I turned off the control, uh, the manual control. I run manual control. Okay. Uh, now we have, this is the ego vehicle and this is the uh, other vehicle. We will try to follow uh, the vehicle in front. Um, so this, this scenario tests how, we, how good we can follow and uh, the maintaining distance uh, of the front vehicle and so on. So this can be used to test the ACC capabilities of the autonomous driving software stack. And these, uh, you see in this test, this scenario has different uh, evaluation criteria, and it succeeded in several ones, failed in uh, key plane, uh, failed in uh, check uh, driven distance. So this can give some indication about success or failure in the uh, predefined evaluation uh, metrics. Uh, with this, I conclude uh, uh, this simple tutorial. Um, of course, we will follow this with uh, additional uh, tutorials. You can follow us on the uh, YouTube channel uh, to learn more about using a more advanced evaluation uh, um, cost functions or metrics, uh, and also using um, more advanced uh, scenarios uh, and custom uh, open drive maps in your uh, uh, testing or evaluation for the uh, autonomous driving software stacks. Thank you for listening.